So uh, before I begin, uh, I did a little memory lane searching before I came with the FC. I realized that I joined the Free Phantom in 2009 when I was 15, which was six years ago. And you know, for some for some people that's not a lot, uh, but I've been through a lot. And I'll be honest, some of it is because I've been in the Free Phantom. <laughs> Other of it is things that I couldn't get through because. I needed the furry fandom, and even through all the good and the bad times, I'll have to say that I've never once said that I regretted being part of this fandom. So tonight is about you guys, and I thought, what better way to show my appreciation for the furry fandom than by answering the one question that all of us get and or ask ourselves. What does it mean to be furry? Does it mean one must speak the language of animalese, owe a debt to a tanuki for a home, and listen to a dog who plays guitar on his knees? Does it mean that my choice of porn to peruse in must depict animals and acts society chooses not to enthuse in? Instead, they take what they see and start accusing that my deep interest in Star Fox is more than a little confusing. <laughs> But it's okay for Robin Hood to be a fox and for Rocco to walk and talk as long as I don't emulate what's in the cartoons that I watch. For I don't differ much from any other. I speak a coherent language and I learn just like any other. And just because my choice to nuzzle with my muzzle may puzzle those who don't understand the concept doesn't make me an example of what not to be because my lifestyle shouldn't hinder my possibilities. It's one thing to be gay, but a gay furry to society, well, what's there left to say? Yet I don't see myself having sex with a stray cat on the street. I just look to network in a network with the net worth of people to meet, you see. What I've learned about the furry fandom is that there's nothing like the people who are in the furry fandom. Sure, we have our flaws and insecurities. Believe me, if I get another huggles or snuggles at the beginning or end of a sentence, I might go crazy. <laughs> and we know a thing or two about drama. <laughs> but can you blame us for being so defensive when our identities are constantly in question? Can you blame us for being so affectionate when others push us aside, when we're forced behind locked closets labeled furry because some people just can't handle the keys to open the door when my persona is made to look like this eerie shadow of demise because of its imposition to social normativity. No, I wasn't normal to begin with. I barked when I was born, howled when I grew up. I kicked and clawed with paws that were only grasping for a little security because I was always told never to be myself because who I was was a little too different. But whoever said that it was wrong to be different? No, I'm not excusing our actions in the slightest, but anyone in this world is just as capable of making mistakes as we are. We're just scapegoats, coming down broken roads marked mistakes, and I'll admit that when I stepped in, I was swallowed by the shadows, spit out with a few beautiful few bruises to count and felt a little too many times for comfort. But I've also embraced hearts of gold. Faces unforgettable for all the right reasons. Arms that held on to me and held tight, kept me warm in the coldest days. Arms that felt like a haven because they told me it's okay to be yourself. Because I understand defeat I understand darkness. I understand not wanting to get up when you fall from grace, but being broken doesn't mean you have to be alone. That's what I love about the furry fandom. People so willing to pick you up when you fall from grace because you'll never find acceptance in abundance much like the fandom creates it's a social stratum for those who embrace others who relate interest in a concept beyond what most can assimilate that we are what we believe in in the sonas we create a frog and a dog a cat and a bat we come together as one and hate we combat you see to me what it means to be furry is someone who wakes up in the morning and goes, 
What am I doing here? Why do I bother? Only to engage in slumber with the answer. I am a furry because I am someone who is uniquely different, yet inherently the same. Someone who isn't afraid to express what is beyond the norm, yet embrace those who express themselves within the norm and appreciates art and humanity in all its shapes and forms. Someone who recognizes that no matter how many odd looks you get, you are just as important to this world as anyone else is, just as capable, as productive. Being furry means being childish, not childlike to emphasize the importance of grasping a part of us that is precious, even if it means manifesting it through an alternate persona, because my persona is still me. It's who I choose to be. And that, I believe, is what it means to be furry. Thank you.